Hey there, this is K4A Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials and in this video today we are going to learn how to change layer transparency in Autodesk Sketchbook. So we have learned lots of things about layers some time ago and uh, layers are very very important not only in this software Autodesk Sketchbook but also in every other graphic art software which has them uh, most of the rules which you will learn here apply in other applications so and they are like something which is irreplaceable in everyday workflow of any kind of artist so uh, that's why this lesson will be important al although very very simple uh, we have started with uh, blank canvas we can draw on it and do it zoom in and out so it's just some basic default settings we are on layer one um, for example I want to draw some kind of big circle and color it with my flood fill black and create a new layer with this plus sign and create a couple of smaller circles and uh, color them uh, for example red uh, yeah one will be red and we are going to copy paste it control C control V uh, uh, this other will be for example yellow and uh, the third one will be blue so three uh, circles smaller and one a big black uh, we have learned before that which layers are about here in this window everything on them will be shown on top of everything which is below it so this blue circle is above the yellow red and black so it will be the top one the yellow is below and the red is below yellow and blue uh, that is all cool i can press shift to select all of them together and move uh, but for some reason for example i'm making some kind of game or whatever i need uh, the starting point this big black circle to be on top of those three uh, and this is how the game for example starts this is like some kind of black hole or whatever and uh, that's all cool <clears throat> but uh, uh, for some reason again my game designer wants to position this blue yellow and red circle on uh, top left and right positions and i can do that uh, like this for example select the blue one move it turn off this layer then uh, is it too much yeah i can see now it's a little bit too much i can now go back but i'm not sure am i now too much on the height or too low it has to be precise but i'm not sure where i am in other words in shorter terms i want to know where i am positioned below some other shape other color to do that all you have to do is select top layer and click on this 100 number button or field however you call it and you can see that below our black circle we have some kind of 
opacity 100% field which will become lower if I click and press my 100% button here I'm pressing it here on this guy here and look now at my black circle it becomes transparent and now I can clearly see all of my circles below I can go all the way down to zero to make it completely invisible but in my case even 50% will or even more will do the job so now I can select red circle and my game designer says put it on the bottom but make it almost touching the edge okay so is this good yes left we should go yellow for the left is this good uh, no make it more to the top okay like this no a little bit more to the bottom now a little bit more to the right and so on so you can make endless changes fast and you don't have to turn off and on this layer every time and same with the blue one I can make it like here and so on and you can play as much as you want so this is one of the one of the possible use for this tool for this feature which is transparency of the layer and it's to make it easier for you to work on complex illustrations and paintings to make it easier for you to work with more layers and <clears throat> other use will be for example if I have uh, for example I have this blue guy here and I will copy it a couple of times and for some reason you want all of those they are now separate layers but I will merge them down uh, merge with below and merge with below so we have three blue circles on one layer and again for some specific reason sometime when you draw some complex scenes and so on you will want to make some of those shapes some of those colors less transparent and you can do that like this again changing transparency and leave it like this for example you need to create um, layers of hair or fur on your characters animals and so on so some hair would be uh, darker some uh, lighter thinner and so on so all you have to do is create a couple of those and change transparency of it uh, that would be some kind of second example some kind of second type of use for this tool and we will use this um, again in complex illustrations later when we create some it's very very useful and again you use it in different types of softwares not only Autodesk sketchbook uh, when you want to make something lighter like just go with transparency for start at least it can be a very fast test for you <clears throat> And for the end, uh, uh, as you can see here on this layer tabs, uh, I am uh, I can change the transparency by clicking on this button here, which says 60. For now, this small square shape, but I can also click on the layer itself and click this bar, which those two things are connected if I move this bar up and down I can see the number here on the square changes so now it's 55 I will go lower 
now I, I will go higher when I raise my bar here so whatever make whatever it's easier for you go for it or opposite if the bar is not what you like to use go with this button click on it drag it up and down until you are satisfied with the result simple as that that's it for this video uh, thanks for watching see you in next one bye for now